Hello everybody and welcome to the class once again. You have been doing a lot of things in Japanese in the past lessons. Are you ready today for more Japanese? Well, we will do a lot of things. We will do new forms, we will do new kanji, we will learn about Japanese uh, festivals, also some proverbs and of course, vocabulary. But before that, we will go over the assignments that I had given you last time. So, well, the first assignment that I gave was the te imas form. Please revise the te imas form. You can see a lot of pictures here. Tanaka san is doing various things. So, well, what is he doing? Let us see. The first one is shower o abite imas. He is taking a shower. Te imas form is in continuous tense where an action is in progress. So, well, kao o aratte imas. He is washing his face. Ima yasunde imas. He is relaxing. Ima Varatte imas. He is smiling. Ima swatte imas. He is sitting. You can also use those. For example, varatte imas is given over here. Rao sanva or Tanaka sanva ima varatte imas. Then we have one more. E o kaite imas. Kaite imas is actually writing, but for picture, for painting, it is kaku, a is picture. So, a o kaite imas, he is drawing or painting. Well, the second one is match kanji characters in group A with meanings in group B. So, we have the kanji characters here. You have done most of them. You have been seeing all the characters in your lessons. The meanings are given over here in Roman. You can match these please. So, onna no hito. Fuyu. Fuyu is winter. Namai. Kodomo no hi. Tegami. Raigetsu, shukudai, shukudai though we have not done it formally, but always before your assignments this character is there. You can check it out and see you should be able to recognize it now. Sensei, gakse, you can see this is similar. Now, change the verb forms and fill in the blanks with those forms. So, well, mina san, dozo, meshi agaru is polite for eat, meshi agatte kudasai. Minna de juichi ji ni aimasho, ni over here is for aimas. I keep repeating it again and again for you to understand. Watashi wa ashita picnic e ikitaku nai. I do not want to go. Sumimasen. Chotto jimusho e itte mite kudasai. Please go and see. Sensei wa ima oshiete imas is teaching. Seto tachi wa ima kiite imas are listening. Seto is pupils, students and to make it plural as we do not have plurals in Japanese, tachi is used. You have done gakusei tachi, onna no hito tachi, kodomo tachi. So, well, tachi is a plural, can be attached to any noun. Sensei ni pen o sashi agiru, sashi age mashita. Gave to someone 
senior or older to you. Okaasan ni ishatsu o moraimashita. The subject over here is not there. It is understood. Watashi wa okaasan ni ishatsu o moraimashita. Ima nani mo shitaku nai. The negative over here, shitaku arimasen. Nai is the plain form for arimasen. So, negative because of nani mo, nothing. I do not want to do anything. So, always nani mo will take a negative verb. Nodo ga kawaita, kawaki mashita. Nani ka nomimasho or nomi tai. Nani ka is something. Nani mo is nothing. We did it in our last lesson. So, well you could go there and check it out. Fill in the blanks with appropriate interrogative words and particles. So, it is a mixture. Let us see. Rao san, doshite ringo wo kaimasu ka? Doshite is why? Why are you buying apples? Deri wa donna machi desu ka? What type of? Doshite keki wo tabemasen ka? Why aren't you eating the cake? Doshite is why? Asking for reason. Kanpur kara deri made ikura desu ka? Ikura over here is for how much is the ticket? How much does it cost? You could also add kanpur kara deri made bus de ikura desu ka? Or densha de ikura desu ka? By mode of which mode of transport you want to go? You can inquire how much it costs or takes. Heya ni takusan mono ga arimasu. Takusan is lots of. Takusan. Takusan. Takusan means lots, lots as in number which can be counted, which is a, which is, which can be seen, which can be counted is takusan. And Another lots is yoku, which is again lots, but a little abstract cannot be counted or cannot be measured. For example, we have something here for you later on. Yoku tabemashita. I had lots to eat. So, a small quantity would be, could be lots for someone and a small quantity may not be lots for someone. So, well yoku is lots, but cannot be measured and takusan is something which can be seen, which can be measured. Atama ga itai kara ima uchi de yasun de imasu. Dare ni tegami wo kakimasu ka? Dare ni to whom? Jimushitsu ni Kopi no kikai wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Nandai arimasu ka? Both are used, though ikutsu is used for small things, but for kopi no kikai machine, ikutsu is used and nandai of course is for big machinery or big things. So, nandai is also used. Hasami de kami wo kirimasu. Hasami is scissors de by means of with. Rao san no kaisha wa dochira desu ka? I just explained this to you in the previous class. Dochira over here means where are you working in this situation? Do generally dochira means where. Now look at the pictures and write hiragana. This is essential. You need to know your hiragana because all three scripts are written simultaneously we are doing kanji. So, we also need to do hiragana. There is tamago, kuruma, kudamono, sakana, kumo. So, whatever you say you write it is very simple. Hana, dango, kaeru. Kaeru is not kairimasu. Kairu is also a frog. Risu and Ashi. We have done risu in our uh, proverbs 
So, I am sure you will remember Risu and then we have what do you say in these situations. So, well, jiko shoukai no toki hajimemashite yoroshiku onegai shimasu. This is an expression, uchi e kaetta toki. Can you tell me what they say? Well, it is tadaima. I am back. Uchi kara deru toki. Deru toki is when you leave your house, you say itte kimasu. I will go and come. Shokuji o taberu mai ni itadaki mas. Thanks for the food. It is a prayer. Thanking God, thanking Him for the good food. Omiyage o ageru toki. Tsumaranai mono desu ga dozo. You could also add a lot of things after this. But this is basic, tsumaranai mono desu ga, tsumaranai mono means it is a very small thing, it is something very, very small. So, please accept it and even if the thing is very big, you would always say tsumaranai mono desu. Kurasu no mai ni, hajimaru mai ni, what do you say? Well, hajime mashoukka, shall we begin? Then kurasu ni hairu toki. Mina san ohayo gozaimasu or konnichiwa depending on the time of the day. Keiki wo ageta toki nani wo imasu ka? Dozo meshi agatte kudasai. This is polite. You can also say to your friends your age, dozo tabete kudasai. Or you could also say dozo tabete mite kudasai. Please eat and see. Gohan o tabeta ato, after you have had gohan, after you have finished eating, gochiso sama deshita. Thank you for the good food. You thank God for the food that you have eaten. And teinei ni kikutoki, teinei is polite, teinei ni kikutoki, kohi o nomimashou ka, what do you say? Instead of this, well, kohi wa Ikaga desu ka is the phrase. Ikaga is polite for nomimas or just asking politely for eating or drinking or going somewhere. Now, as I promised to you earlier in the lesson, we are going to talk about I want something. We have done in our previous lessons, I want to do something. If you remember, we did watashi wa gohan o tabetai, watashi wa kaimono o shitai, watashi wa nihongo o benkyo shitai, meaning that I want to do this. But over here, what we are going to do today is I want something, I want to have something. So, well, for example, I want a doll or someone else wants a doll or whatever. So, let us see. Before that, we will try to do the potential form which we did in our last lesson. We did group 1, group 1 last time, we will do group 2 today. Now, group 2 verbs, will you tell me some group 2 verbs? Well, they are taberu, neru, akeru, shimeru, kangaeru. So, you will see all of them end in ru. Now, what you need to do for potential form to show that you are able to perform a certain thing, you are able to do a certain action. Well, you just need to remove this ru from here and add rareru, tabe rareru, I can eat, neru, nerareru, I can sleep, akerareru, I can open, shimerareru, I can close, kangaerareru, I can think. So, you can say for Taberareru, watashi wa niku ga 
食べられます。私は食べられます。私は窓開けられます。So I can open. I have the ability to open. 肉が食べられます。You are stating a fact. You are stating something. Thus it is ga over here. Now you can practice group 2 and group 1 both in this section over here. There is a small conversation. Rao san, Nihongo ga hanase masu ka? Group 1. Hana shi mas. Mas form. Hana se mas. Potential form. Hai, sko shi hanase mas. And this is very, very cultural. Even if you know something very well, even if you are able to do something very well, you are jozu at it, you are good at it, you will still say very politely, in a very humble manner, skoshi, little bit. I only know very little. So, this is very, very cultural. And of course, language is all about culture of a place. So, well, it has come into the language. Skoshi is, you will never say that I know all or I am very good at this. In Japan, at least, you will say I am still learning or I know little, as is given over here. Hai, skoshi hanasemasu. I can speak a little. So, well, you can replace Nihongo over here for chugoku and Hanashimas as over here, Hanasu can be the same. Then Rao san, densha de ikemasu ka? Can you go? Rao san, niku ga taberare masu ka? Can you eat niku, which is meat? Or ohashi de with the means of ohashi. By ohashi, which is chopsticks. Taberare masu ka? So you can ask, and it could be hai, it could be ie, I cannot do, or I can do. You can practice this with your partner. You have the kanji for chugoku go, densha, which you have done. Niku is a new kanji, which I will tell you, and ohashi is again a new kanji, which we will do later. We will cover this later sometime. You can just look at the kanjis, become familiar. Hanasu for talking, iku for ikimasu, and taberu for tabemasu. We have done all these three characters. So, you can use potential form like this over here for group 1 and group 2. Now, there is a small conversation here between. A and B. Listen to this conversation, and there are a few new things we will try to cover them in class now. Rao san, Raigetsu Indo e kaerimasu ka? So des, Raigetsu no 13 nichi des. Dore gurai desu ka? San shukan des. Oba san to oji san ni mo au kara chotto nagai des. Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Hai kaimashita. でも妹はまだです。実は私はカメラを買いたいですが、妹は日本人形が大好きですから欲しがっています。じゃあ、両方買ってくださいね。でも人形の店は知らないから、今困っています。あ、そうですか。じゃあちょっと待ってね。友達に聞いてみる。ラオさん大丈夫よ。友達は店を知っているからご案内します。あ,ありがとう。お願いします。So well, how much did you understand now? Tell me. Most of it, I'm sure. I'll read it now. Rao san, raigetsu Indo e kairimasu ka? So desu. Raigetsu no jiu san nichi desu. Dore gurai desu ka? San shukan desu. Oba san to oji san ni mo. アウからちょっと長いです。お土産を買いましたか？はい、買いました。でも妹はまだです。実は私はカメラを買いたいですが
日本人形が大好きですから欲しがっていますじゃあ両方買ってくださいでも人形の店知らないから今困ってますああそうですかじゃあちょっと待ってね友達に聞いてみるラオさん大丈夫ですよ友達は店を知っているからご案内しますあ,ありがとうお願いします So it's a little longish but the sentence construction is very simple you have done all of them over here you will notice in the fourth line that there are two particles used together which we have not done so far ni and mo ni over here is for i mas which means to meet and mo you have already done which means also ni mo together means i have also to meet my grandparents thus my holiday is a little nagai it is a little longish o m i a g e o kaimashita ka hai kaimashita demo but imoto wa mada desu for my sister i haven't bought anything as yet jitsu wa actually speaking watashi wa kamera o kaitai desu ga imoto wa nihon ningyo ga daisuki desu kara hoshi ga te I want to buy a camera, but my sister likes Japanese dolls. Thus, I have to buy a doll for her. And she is wanting a Japanese doll from me. Thus, I have to buy a Japanese doll for her. So, B san says, in that case, well, why don't you buy? Both, ryoho, camera as well as a doll. Ryoho katte kudasai, buy both. But, demo, ningyo no mise, Japanese doll shop, I do not know. Thus, I am a little worried now. Komatte imases, I am a little worried. You don't have to be worried. Ah, so desu ka? Ja, chotto matte ne. Wait for a minute. Tomodachi ni kiite miru. Now, so far you have done mas form always in the end. But over here you can see the sentence ends with miru, which is a plain form. So, well, when you are talking to your friends in informal situation, you may use miru instead of mas form. In the end as well. Rao san daijobu desu yo. After five minutes, after talking, he comes back again and he says, Rao san daijobu desu yo. Tomodachi wa mise o shitte iru kara. He knows the mise, thus he will guide us. And Rao san obviously says, Arigato. So, well, lot of new things over here. We will practice right away. This is in the script, of course. You can go over this and practice your. Hiragana and katakana and kanji, and this is the explanation. But please remember, I keep repeating this again and again, but please remember that this is not a literal translation of what is given in the conversation. This is just what you would say in English. Sometimes there is a literal translation which you will see sounds a little. Odd as is given over here, but I don't know a place where Japanese dolls are sold, so I am a little worried now. So instead of that, you can say, I don't know where to buy dolls. So sometimes they sound a little odd, but well, you can practice this now. Look at the pictures and tell what you want. Hoshi. First picture is Megane ga hoshi desu. I want Megane. Megane ga hoshi desu. Because you are stating a fact, because you are stating something emphatically, thus you will use particle ga over here. Hoshi will always take particle ga. The second one is Boshi. He wants a cap. Boshi. He is thinking of a cap. So, Boshi ga hoshi desu. Then, 
okane, money. Everybody wants money. So, well, okane ga hoshi desu. Wants to have okane. Then, in the end, we have these two people talking to each other. A san wants a computer and B san wants a camera. So, well, A san wa computer ga hoshi desu and B san wa camera ga hoshi desu. So, well, that is how it is. A san wa computer ga hoshi desu. You can practice like this with ga, but remember hoshi will always take particle ga and it states expresses your desire to want something. We'll go over this. One thing important with Hoshi is, as you can see in the example also, first person, something ga ho shi this. Second person, inquiry something ga ho shi this ka and if it is third person you are talking about someone who is not present over there about someone else's desire to want something then third person is something ga ho shi gatte i I am sorry, something o hoshigatte imas. So, please remember that as is given in the example over here. Watashi wa toke ga hoshi desu. Rao san wa nani ga hoshi desu ka? Rao san wa kuruma o hoshigatte imas. So, you will see the difference. Hoshi will take ga and hoshi ga te imas, third person will always take o. Practice hoshi over here. Let us see what it is. Nani ga hoshi desu ka? Well, you can desire anything you want in the picture. He wants a camera. He also wants a kuruma. So, well, let us see. Kamera ga hoshi desu. Rao san wa kamera ga hoshi desu. And also he wants a kuruma and not only one, he wants three. To sandai kuruma mo hoshi desu also. Sandai kuruma mo hoshi desu. Then he wants a kaban. So, well, kaban ga hoshi desu. Now, look at this picture and let us see what Tanaka san wants. Picture is the same which we did previously, that was for oneself. Now, this is for third person. Let us see what it is. Megane o hoshigatte imasu. Mariko san wa megane o hoshigatte imasu. Tanaka san wa boshi o hoshigatte imasu. Boshi. Now we have Michiko san wa okane o hoshigatte And A san to B san wa kamera to computer o hoshigatte You could say that separately A san wa kamera o hoshigatte B san wa computer o hoshigatte so, you can practice hoshi and hoshigatte imas like this. Now, there was another word over there in the conversation which was suki. Suki means like and the way it is pronounced in Japanese is ski. So, it sounds like skiing, but it is not skiing. It is to like someone or to like something. There is a small conversation here, A san and B san. Rao san wa nani ga suki desu ka? Nani ga again, because you are asking choice. You are asking what someone likes. 
私はアイスクリームが好きです。I like ice cream. じゃあ、アイスクリームを食べましょう。Let's have ice cream. So well, you can replace ice cream for anything. Ice cream over here for chocolate, pizza, ringo, beer, wine, burger, anything. 私はチョコレートが好きです。私はピザが好きです。田中さんはピザが好きですかいいえ、私はスパゲティが好きです。So you can make small conversation like this using any of these.Now in our last lesson, we had done nani.You have done this word, interrogative word, doko. Meaning where. So, there are a lot of things listed over here. You can see how to use and what it means. What are the combinations? So, well, doko e ikimasu ka? Kaisha e ikimasu. Doko e mo ikimasen. I will not go anywhere. E and mo we have already done once. This is just a revision for you. Doko e mo Ikimasen. Nowhere. Doko e mo ikimasen. Doko ka e ikimasu ka? Doko ka? Somewhere e ikimasu ka? Doko e mo ikimasen. Doko e mo ikitaku? Nai. I don't want to go anywhere. Doko ka? Somewhere. Doko ga ii desu ka? Where do you think is a good place to go? Doko de mo ii desu. Anywhere is all right. Place X ga i desu. You name a place, you specify a location, and you say this place is very, very good. Doko e ikitai desu ka? Where do you want to go? Doko e mo ikitaku nai. So we will do doko as doko e mo, we will take a negative. Doko e mo ikimasen. Nowhere. Doko ka e ikimasu ka? Doko ka? Somewhere. And then, doko demo i desu. Anywhere is alright. Doko e mo nowhere, doko ka somewhere, and doko demo anywhere. So, you can use them like this as it is given over here. You can ask questions and answer and practice your small dialogue. Now, in our last lesson, as I told you earlier, we did Thai form of the verb, which is I want to do something. Over here, we are doing Hoshi, that I want something. I want a noun. Over there, we are using a Verb in Thai form. There is a small picture here you can see Tanaka san over here or Taro kun over here and he wants to go hiking with Mariko san. So, well, let us see what it is. Nani o shitai desu ka? Hiking e ikitai. Hiking o shitai. Mariko san to issho ni hiking e ikitai. Then she is thinking, kutsu o kaitai. Nani o kaitai desu ka? Kutsu o kaitai. Or, nani ga hoshi desu ka? Atarashi kutsu ga hoshi desu. Atarashi kutsu o kaitai. So, you can practice like this. Simple, you can see the difference between tai form and hoshi. One is a verb form and one over here you want something. It is a personal desire that you want a certain object. Now, we did, we have been doing expressions. This is a very, very cultural thing you can see over here. The Japanese in their houses at the entrance remove shoes and then enter house. When they enter someone's house or when they enter even their house, they change into a different set of 
slippers which is only used inside and the reason is that they have tatami floors. If you remember we did tatami floors in our previous lesson with fusuma and because it is a straw flooring if you get shoes from outside the flooring will get dirty it cannot be cleaned and then besides that the biggest reason is that Japanese do everything they sit on the floor they eat on the floor they sleep on the floor. So, you have to change like this there is a small step over here you have to come up leave your chapels over here in this area and then come up wear these and then enter the house. So, what do you say? at this time. Well, this, this expression you have done irashai mase. When you enter a shop or you come to someone's house, generally irashai mase is used which is welcome. Now, dozo oangari kudasai. This is the expression which is used when you invite someone inside. Dozo means please, angari kudasai means please come inside, step up and come inside and kudasai of course is please. O over here is honorific and being very very courteous and teine which is polite. Dozo o angari kudasai. So, this is an expression you can remember and try to use if you are in Japan always change your chapels, always change your sandals and then enter someone's house. There is another expression here this gentleman has eaten too much, he is totally full, cannot eat any more and what does he say? Ah, onaka ippai desu. Onaka is stomach, ippai is have had too much, it is full. Ah, onaka ippai desu. Then, yoku tabemashita, as I told you earlier, takusan and yoku. Yoku, he has had a lot to eat, but you cannot count how much yoku and takusan is can be counted and measured. Mo taberare nai, mo taberare masen. This is the form that we did last time. Taberare masen, taberare nai. I cannot eat any more. Mo taberare nai, I cannot eat any more now. Why? Onaka ippai this onaka is stomach, ippai is full. So, these were two expressions for you. You can use these expressions freely, they will make you comfortable with the language and you meet a Japanese, try to use these, it is good. It gives a good feeling, breaks the ice and you can make friends easily with the expressions that we have done in class. Now, as I always do, we will do kanjis. You have done these four kanjis that I am going to do now with you, seasons. In the last lesson, you saw the kanjis in the pictures, we will do these kanjis now. The first one is haru, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8 and 9 haru. So, please remember this is long, this is a little short, longest of them all like this from here from the second one like this, like this and nichi over here this makes it haru. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi and q. This is haru. Let us see how many strokes are there to haru. Well, it is a 9 stroke character. Haru and Shun. There are two readings to it. You can only concentrate on Haru, that would be just fine. Then we have Natsu for you. Again, this is a simple character like this. One, you have done Ichi, then you have done Me, then like this Natsu. So, once more 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. It is a 10 stroke character. Nuts. Now, what do we have after this? We have Aki. Aki is autumn, autumn, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you have he over here 6, 7, 8 and 9. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. It is a 9 stroke character. Let us see 9 Aki and Shu. Then we have Fuyu, which is winter 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It is a 5 stroke character. So, you can see now all these 4 kanji characters together. We have Haru, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Kyu, Haru, Natsu, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Kyu, Ju, Natsu, then Aki, 1, 2, 3, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi and Kyu. And then we have Fuyu, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi and Go. There are a lot of words. You have done Natsu Yasumi, you have done Haru Yasumi, you have done Fuyu Yasumi. So, all these words are there. You can practice these words. You know the words, you can now do the kanji as well. Now, four seasons we did last time. There is another season that the Japanese talk about and that is Tsuyu, which is monsoon. So, there is monsoon also before the summer and this is the character for monsoon and we are going to talk about the monsoon festival today which is Tanabata later, but before that we need to complete our kanji. So, this you have all four together. Shunka Shuto Haru Natsu Aki Fuyu. Shunka Shuto all the year round, all through. You have something, then you say Shunka Shuto. So, you can just remember this word, it is interesting, that is all. Then there are some kanji characters here for you. The kanjis that we have done, words you know, I have given the kanji Natsu Yasumi. Natsumono. Natsumono is clothes, summer clothes. Then Shuki, autumn air. Ritto, first day of winter. Now, this character, though I have not done, this means also to stand up. So, you can, it is a simple character, you can remember it. Rika, start of summer, then Akikaze is autumn breeze and Fuyu Yasumi is winter holidays. So, these are some words you can use in sentences, it will be good. We do katakana all the time, this time we will do the ma series, ma, you can see me, you have 3, it goes from here 1, 2 and 3 like this. Me, just 3 simple lines, me, mu, 2 lines over here, this is 1 and 2. Generally, you draw with brush, you make with brush, so it becomes very difficult to lift it here. So, you just drag it like this and 2. Me, mu and me, me as in eyes, me. See the stroke order, this one is not first, this one is first and then this one as you need to end your character on the right bottom corner of the square. Then we have mu, 1, 2 and 3. Now, you have all of them here in front of you, you can see 
how the stroke order is done, how clearly it is shown and you can practice like this. Practice on a graph sheet or maths copy which has squares, big squares in it, it will make your character very, very proportionate. We have been doing proverbs and as, as I have been telling you proverbs tell us about a country, about what people think, how they behave, how they interact and proverbs tell you about the thinking of the people of that country. It is very cultural, it has a long, long history to it, whatever the proverb may be, it comes from something that has happened back some time and very smartly that is being used, very intelligently that is being used to tell something in short, convey something in very, very short. Koto means word and waza means the art of using those words very intelligently and conveying in short. Now, this is a koto waza which tells you a lot about the Japanese people and you can see a car, this road over here, there is a small bridge. What does the koto waza say? Where it says, isogaba maware, isogaba maware. What does it mean? Well, it means that however much you are in a hurry, wherever you want to go, when in a hurry, always think again, do not take a short route, stop and think whether it is the best thing to do or not. Always take a longer route, the short route, the shortcut may not be very good, it may not serve its purpose, it may not be very helpful for you. So, always whenever in a hurry, whenever you want to do things in a rushed manner, well never do that, always, always take the proper route, always do what is to be done. That is what the proverb says. Iso gu means to hurry, maware means detour. So, this is what the Japanese are. Whatever the temptation, always take the correct route, do it properly. In the end, we have well vocabulary, there is lots of it, you can go over it, see there are words, new words here, you can see the meanings and use them in sentences. Now, I had told you that I am going to tell you about Tanabata, about this festival, monsoon festival, which is celebrated in Japan during this time. So, there is Kaminari, which is thunder, there is rain, which is Ame, and this is Tanabata, what they do during this time. So, well, Tanabata, the kanji character, the pictogram is like this, seven Tana and evening. So, this is this is the character for Tanabata. You can see very clearly this means the seventh evening. So, Tanabata is a monsoon festival and why Tanabata in monsoon is because Japan was an agrarian society and everything depended on agriculture and monsoon is the time when you sow your rice fields, you uh, plant rice during that time and naturally when you are planting something, you would want to satisfy the gods, you would want to offer something nice, you would like to pray to them for a good crop. So, this was the time when they would hang 
small offerings, give small offerings to the gods and pray for a good crop. Now, slowly over a period of time, this changed and everybody started doing it, even children started doing it. And they started uh, during this time praying to God that they would get good marks, could write good, could write nicely, could write kanji nicely, properly, want more money than you hang a purse or something. Uh, on the trees. Now, the tree that was available or the bush or the shrub grass that was available or is available during this time mainly is bamboo and every house would have a bamboo tree, bamboo grass bush. So, they would hang whatever little offering was there on the um, bamboo shoot and uh, it would be displayed outside the house. So, that was done earlier. Of course, now it is done in a very, very big way and as you can see it is celebrated now, it is celebrated on the 7th of July every year. Earlier it was celebrated from the 7th of July till the 7th of August. Of course, there, there are lot of stories associated with this and the main story as you can see is from a Chinese folklore and uh, the folklore is about Orihime who is the daughter, the princess of the god of heaven who is Tente and she weaves cloth for her father which is very beautiful and he loves it, but she weaves it the whole day and he asks her to weave so much that she is unable to meet anyone. She is very depressed over it and very saddened. So, seeing this her father introduces her to this gentleman here Hikoboshi who is the cowherd and when they meet they immediately fall in love and they get married. Once they get married then Hikoboshi and Orihime both do not do what they are supposed to do. Orihime does not weave cloth, she forgets about weaving and Hikoboshi forgets about taking his cows for grazing. So, Tente, he is the emperor, he is the big man, he is the king. So, he gets very angry with his daughter and his son-in-law and he separates them that uh, you have not done your duty well and you cannot live together. Of course, she weeps and weeps and weeps as one can imagine and taking pity on her, then they decides that okay, they will meet once a year and that is when actually Tanabata takes place that is the seventh day of the seventh moon of the lunar calendar and everybody celebrates it in a big, big way in Japan. To celebrate this, the Japanese write their wishes as I told you earlier in on sheets of paper and hang them on uh, bamboo shoots and uh, they hang different things for, for different wishes. Lot of origami is hung, generally 1000 crane uh, garlands are hung for, for good health, for long life, for purses are hung for money. Then kimono charms are hung for diseases and accidents and lot of other things are also done and you will see the bamboo shoot over here with lot of streamers and lot of red, pink, orange, blue all kinds are hung and uh, the good thing here is that you will notice whatever is written is for, for good health, for long life, for children writing, for uh, money, for, um, for uh, good uh, marks, but generally you will notice that people nobody writes, nobody hangs anything or writes for money. That is cultural, that is not done. You have these streamers here, this is a celebration in 2010 in Tokyo. The bamboo shoots are here, you can see these streamers, these signify the um, thread used for weaving by Orihime 
and lot of uh, celebration, lot of gaiety is there and people eat good food, meet people, go out in their traditional dress which is the kimono. Of course, this is yugata which the ladies wear with these wooden sandals which are called geta and they go about, it is very hot. So, this kimono is very, very good, light to wear and can take the heat. Children, it is Natsu Yasumi which is holiday time, children have sports functions, they have these undokais and they enjoy a lot, lot of hanabi is done which is firecrackers and the whole family enjoys during this festival. Prayers are, prayers, offerings are made, prayers are done and all these small paper is hung, whatever they want to ask, they ask and always enjoy with family. So, this is about Tanabata, you can read more on the net, you can, the pictures are all from the net, they are from Google. So, you can Google them up, all the links are given, you can see and uh, see the different versions of the legend, different places have different endings, different way uh, Tente has treated his daughter Orihime, what she does and how the magpies help her or how um, she, whatever she has done you can see and learn more about Tanabata. So, well now after this you have your assignments, your shukudai, you can see the kanji over here. There is lots to do today, there are pictures you have to tell about what they are doing, then practice this form, tell about the seasons. There are pictures given in group A and in group B, match the pictures and write the words. Then we have done this earlier, look at these pictures carefully and see what festival it is, what is done during the festival and write a small sakubun on this festival. Match group A with group B, then there is a small conversation for you to practice with your partner, practice using these words over here. So, well now in the end you have your listening comprehension, just listen to this very carefully and then the exercise is there, you have to do that exercise. So, this is a conversation between A and B, let us see what the conversation is. Rao san, kyo wa atsui desu ne, nodo ga kawakimashita, nani ka nomitai desu. Ice tea wo nomimasu ka, kocha wo nomimasu ka. Sumetai mono wa nomemasen, atsui mono wo nomimasu, kocha wo tsukurimashou ka, kocha wa dou yatte tsukurimasu ka, watashi wa wakaranai. Kantan desu yo, mazu nabe ni mizu wo irete kudasai, juppun gurai mizu wo wakashite kudasai, juppun ato nabe ni kocha no hapa mo irete kudasai. Sore kara koppu ni sato to milku o irete tsukutta kocha o irete kudasai. Saigo ni spoon de mazete kudasai. Sore de wa kocha ga deki agarimashita. Douzo nonde mite kudasai. Ikimochi desu ne. Kocha wa oishi desu yo. I hope you all could understand this was about making tea. So, well, try to listen to it carefully and then fill in the blanks using the words given below. Try to remember your dialogue and then try to fill these blank spaces. Well, this was your shukudai for today and you can practice what we have done today, what we have done previously and try to do small 
conversation, think up of a situation, do conversations with your partner and then we will meet next time again and try to do something new. Till then, thank you and mata aimashou.